what happens inside the pipeline function. In this video, we'll look at what actually happens when we use the pipeline function of the transformers library. More specifically, we'll look at the sentiment analysis pipeline and how it went from the two following sentences to the positive and negative labels with our respective scores. As we've seen in the pipeline presentation, there are three stages in the pipeline. First, we convert the raw text to numbers the model can make sense of using a tokenizer. Then, those numbers go through the model, which outputs logits. Finally, the post-processing steps transform those logits into labels and scores. Let's look in details at those three steps and how to replicate them using the transformers library, beginning with the first stage, tokenization. The tokenization process has several steps. First, the text is split into small chunks called tokens. They can be words, part of words, or punctuation symbols. Then, the tokenizer will add some special tokens if the model expects them. Here, the model used expects a CLS token at the beginning and a SEP token at the end of the sentence to classify. Lastly, the tokenizer matches each token to its unique ID in the vocabulary of the pre-trained model. To load such a tokenizer, the Transformers library provides the auto-tokenizer API. The most important method of this class is from pre-trained, which will download and cache the configuration and the vocabulary associated to a given checkpoint. Here, the checkpoint used by default for the sentiment analysis pipeline is Distilbert based on case fine-tuned SSS2 English, which is a bit of a mouthful. We instantiate a tokenizer associated with a checkpoint, then feed it to the two sentences. Since the two sentences are not of the same size, we'll need to pad the shortest one to be able to build an array. This is done by the tokenizer with the option padding equal true. With truncation equal true, we ensure that any sentence longer than the maximum the model can handle is truncated. Lastly, the return tensors option tells the tokenizer to return the PyTorch tensor. Looking at the result, we see we have a dictionary with two keys. Input IDs contains the IDs of both sentences with zero where the padding is applied. The second key, attention mask, indicates where padding has been applied, so the model does not pay attention to it. This is all what is inside the tokenizer search step. Now let's have a look at the second step, the model. As for the tokenizer, there is an automodel API with a from pretrain method. It will download and cache the configuration of the model as well as the pretrain weights. However, the automodel API will only instantiate the body of the model, that is, the part of the model that is left once the pretraining head is removed. It will output a high dimensional tensor that is a representation of the sentences passed, but which is not directly useful for our classification problem. Here, the tensor has two sentences, each of 16 tokens, and the last dimension is the hidden size of our model, 768. To get an output link to our classification problem, we need to use the automodel for sequence classification class. It works exactly as the automodel class, except that it will build a model with a classification head. There is one auto class for each common NLP task in the Transformers library. Here, after giving our model the two sentences, we get a tensor of size 2 by 2, one result for each sentence and for each possible label. Those outputs are not probabilities yet. We can see they don't sum to 1. This is because each model of the Transformers library returns logits. To make sense of those logits, we need to dig into the third and last step of the pipeline, post-processing. To convert logits into probabilities, we need to apply a softmax layers to them. As we can see, this transforms them into positive number that sum up to 1. The last step is to know which of those correspond to the positive or the negative label. This is given by the id to label field of the model config. The first probabilities, index 0, correspond to the negative label, and the seconds, index 1, correspond to the positive label. This is how our classifier built with the pipeline function picked those labels and computed those scores. Now that you know how each step works, you can easily tweak them to your needs.